Hey everyone, I'm Burris. Today we're going to be talking about stonewall insulation. We're going to be using Rockwool brand and we're going to find out how it's made and why it works. But first, let's see what it can do. So I just finished the test. Firstly, I like the uh, friction fit on there. It doesn't need to be stapled or anything. That 16 inch stud space, it really fits in nicely. Tested it with some fire, put that torch on there and was really cooking it. it. Didn't smoke, it didn't ignite. Did some water testing. It was like a nice waxed windshield. It just kind of poured right off, which was really cool. Lastly, did some soldering, which you might do in an exterior wall, like a kitchen or a bath. And had that flame right up on there and it didn't ignite, didn't smoke. And now, let's dig deeper into the science of why it works. All right, today we have with us senior geologist Gary Getz. Gary, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And if you could, please explain to us what is stone wool insulation, or even more specific, what is stone wool? Stone wool is a product made from stone, and the stone is a basalt. Here's a good example of what that may look like in nature. This looks like uh, lava rock. It is. It's from Hawaii. Added to that material is a product from the steel industry called blast furnace slag. That plus coke, a product of coal, is what they put into the oven. So how do you go from this to something like insulation? What do you have to do to this? Once it's thoroughly melted and mixed together, there's an apparatus within the oven that spins it, creating a frothy mineral strand, you might call it, having the consistency of cotton candy. How do you turn that into insulation? Good question. Let me show you. This frothy sheet of material is then laid down in layers in a zigzag pattern by this pendulum machine. During that time, a proprietary binder and a thin film of oil is added to this material. Then that material is taken and run through rollers to create product density. From this point, from the rollers, it goes to an oven where the proprietary binder is then cured, adding rigidity to the overall product. Okay, it's a lot of steps. So we've taken a rock, we've melted it, we've spun it into fibers, we've layered it, we've compressed it, and we've put it in an oven. So what does it look like now? Let me show you. This product, when viewed under a microscope, uh, you can see the individual detail of the fibers itself. These fibers are still made up of rock. This rock and this product are basically one and the same, but in a different form. We've created a new product for the construction industry using this common rock. All right, so this is cool. So we're taking a rock that's pretty abundant on planet Earth and we're making something extremely useful. Yes, it's a very common igneous rock. That's awesome. Great information, Gary. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right, now that we know more about stone wool insulation, we know that the friction fit makes it easy to install. We know it's fire resistant, it's water repellent, it's got good sound dampening qualities, and it's not gonna sag over the years. I'd like to thank my guest Gary again for coming in and I'll see you next time on Why It Works. This Rockwell insulation is available in Lowe's stores or to buy online, click here to go to Lowe's.com.